And so, with the new summer happening, the 2017-18 summer happening, people have been throwing around a series of ideas about ways to adapt and change the sport in order to implement these sort of changes. And the first one is to have a four-day test match. South Africa are planning to have a test match in the boxing d on Boxing Day against Zimbabwe, but they don't want it to be a five-day test match because that because five-day test matches are too expensive and it's just not interesting enough of a game because it's one of the best teams in the world versus one of the worst and so you're going to get very small fan a very small fan and viewership the TV deal will not be good and yet the costs of maintaining the ground and paying the players will still be there and so it's just not worth it and so they said they've approached the ICC and they said let's have a four-day test match instead And then on the other side, there have been, uh, similarly, there has been talk for a while about cutting the Sheffield Shield down from ten matches to eight. That it's just too difficult to maintain a full season of Sheffield Shield when the Big Bash League is just so popular. And so the idea would be to cut a couple of games from the Sheffield Shield and that would allow the Big Bash League to expand for maybe a fortnight. And then we were hearing talk about introducing new leagues that are shorter than 2020 cricket like 10-10 and 5-5 and all these uh, managers and officials are former players are throwing up these ideas about alternative tournament structures that are shorter than 2020 cricket. Apparently the 2020 version is just too long and too mundane for everyone now that fans have gotten too used to it over the course of now 14 years. And so the idea is to try to go for the next big thing, the next great innovation that will transform cricket. And so, all sorts of these wild ideas about having tiny little tournaments of thrilling, very short cricket are being thrown around. And people have been suggesting, of course, that all test matches might need to be reduced to four days. And the, then you've got also the idea of, although it's a little bit different, you've also got the idea of day-night test cricket, which seems to have been a success, but not such a thrilling success that it overwhelms and transforms the game. Day-night test matches are nice and good, they're interesting, but they haven't been overwhelmingly successful in comparison to normal test matches. And so, in terms of entrepreneurship, they've been a failure, even though in terms of adding to the quality of test cricket, they're actually been a success. Now, all of these changes, all of these proposals of... Now, all of these proposed changes are essentially the same idea. That first-class versions of cricket are too expensive and too boring to bother with. And should be cut down. While the more shorter, thrilling, raw emotional experience should be increased and doubled down. So it seems as though cricket is caught in the same death spiral that the media is and that Hollywood is. It doesn't know how to escape this because it is constantly pressured to increase profits and increase growth. But of course 
that would mean cutting down on the expensive costs while maximizing and emphasizing the sources of great profitability. And so the natural forces And so the natural forces are pushing them in this direction. And the contradictions are becoming stronger and stronger. And over time, they might become overwhelming. And then what will administrators do?